Hi everybody, it's Kevin Raber. I hope you had a great holiday weekend. I know I did. We got a chance to have a barbecue with all our family. Pretty hot and all, but it was still fun to get together and, and do the holiday thing and get a little bit of work done around the house. Uh, looking forward to the cooler weather coming up and also a chance to get out and start doing a lot more photography, especially with the fall photography. And one of the only ways I really get out there and really begin to open up my mind to photographing again is inspiration. And I get a lot of my inspiration from this magazine. This is the Lenswork magazine. Its publisher and editor is Brooks Jensen. If you haven't looked at this magazine, ever seen it before, put it on your list, subscribe to it. It's not only a hard copy magazine, but it's a tablet version, a computer version, and so much more. Uh, this magazine is beautifully printed. Uh, it's laid out in a small size so you can easily hold it in your hands. The pages are just immaculately printed. They're sheet-fed printing, so rather than a big roll press and everything, this is on sheet-fed where quality can be maintained, and it's always supervised by Brooks Jensen himself. And every one of these magazines is a timeless piece. It's not a magazine you read and then a month later, two months later, throw out. These are collector's items and I have a whole shelf full of these magazines in my uh, living room on my photography bookshelf. Uh, so I just want to say that a couple things you should know about this magazine and then a couple other things I want to do is show you the tablet version. It was started in about 1993. Uh, he's up to 164 editions now on a bi-monthly basis. There are no advertisers. It's a subscription-based model only. So you don't get hung up with camera ads or equipment ads. There's no talk about gear. It's all about the aesthetics of photography. So it's really beautifully done that way. And you know, Brooks just doesn't publish the magazine. He has on his website so much more. There's a computer version you can get of this magazine. He does book projects. Uh, that you'll see on his website that just he's always doing something and this is a chance for you to put your images in books and uh, collector's items. He does uh, retrospectives uh, a couple times a year. I don't know where this guy finds the time. I know even doing what I do I never have any time but uh, he manages to do it just fine and uh, in the last few years after his wife has passed he now is uh, driving around the country uh, with a pickup truck and a trailer and uh, doing everything he does from the road, no less. Pure genius. And Brooks knows more people than you can imagine, especially uh, authors of books, photography books, and dates and times. Um, he's, and, and he's got a great philosophy about photography, so please, Lenswork Magazine, check it out. But what I want to show you next is Lenswork on the tablet. Now I want to show you a little bit about how I really look at my magazines all the time. The Lenswork magazine is one that I want to get in print version just because it's so beautiful. However, for convenience sake, I do a lot of my reading of all publications, magazines, manuals, cookbooks, you name it, uh, even novels and things that I read every night on my iPad. And it's, uh, this is my Lenswork collection on the iPad and I've got all these editions and essentially I'm carrying around 30 pounds of books on my iPad and I can reference these anytime I want. If I'm on vacation, if I'm on a workshop and I just want to kind of get inspiration for the next day, I can go to these and uh, work on them. Let's take a look at one of these magazines. We'll look at this Lenswork magazine here. It's a very nice one. We'll open it up and you can see that it looks just like a regular magazine and uh, we open it, we can scan through it. And the very first part of the magazine always has uh, the editor's comments by Brooks and there's always something insightful and something to learn and think about uh, from what he puts in there. And he goes through all the different things that are available and then basically goes right into the folio. So this is a folio uh, done in the wilderness with a lot of rocks and it's really beautifully done as you can see. Uh, good tonality in the black and white. What's really cool if you come to a horizontal picture you can turn it and it fills the screen horizontally so you can see it and you can zoom in and take a look at things in more detail which is pretty cool to do. So uh, you can scale through here, uh, swipe through here and you can see what's available. <clears throat> and you know here's another one where if you want to just look at the details you can go in there and just zoom in. Uh, some of this stuff is just beautiful street photography so it's not always landscape, it's street, it's abstract, it's um, project-oriented uh, type of photography. Uh, it's something that you can just 
have fun with all the time. So I really highly recommend that if you really want to take your photography further, this is the magazine to do it with. Uh, get the PDF version. Essentially, if you have an iPad, it's really easy. You download the PDF from Brooks' website, Lenswork website, and you bring it over to the iPad book version. Essentially, you just kind of drop it in there. And then I've actually made an area called Lenswork, and I have different magazines there. You can see there's On Landscape, Fuji Love, Fuji Passion, uh, Books Finished, LE Magazine, F11. Some of these are no longer being published, but they're, they're pretty cool. So I have all my magazines and different things like that in here. For example, I you know, go to Lightroom Magazine. There's Lightroom Editions. The Adore Noir, I think that's what it was. That was available at one time. It's pretty cool. So anyway, take a look at your Lens Work magazines through the uh, iPad, and I think you'd be happy if you, if you did. I'll do a, a bigger article on this where you can see how we actually load these in place. Thank you very much for coming by today. This is Kevin Raber for The Daily Chat. I hope you enjoyed this little edition about the Lenswork magazine and The Daily Chat, and I'll see you tomorrow.